everyone. Here's a levitation system I've been working on lately to pass the time. I've always wanted to build one of these ever since I saw a very old but well-built levitation table that my friend Jeff Mullins has. The design of this table is similar to the concept behind maglev trains. Maglevs use two sets of magnets. The support magnet coils on the bottom of the tracks lift the train and the guidance coils on the side provide lateral stability. Now if you curl the maglev track design into a circle, you'll get a scheme that looks like this. The coil in the center does the lifting, and the coil around the outside provides the lateral stability that keeps the disc from flying off the table. The circulating currents induced in the disc can be quite high, however, and the disc will heat up quickly if it's made from a lossy conductor. On my setup here, the lifting coil is this big one in the middle, and these two stacked outer coils provide the lateral guidance needed to keep the levitating objects on the track, so to speak. For controlling the AC drive current, I decided to go with an old school Variac, because they're quite bulletproof, and I had this one sitting around just waiting to go into a project. It's essentially a 240 volt transformer bent into a circle with a knob that adjusts the turns ratio by moving a carbon slider along the windings. Here's a glass tabletop to protect the windings since many items that you might want to levitate can get very hot or messy. These magnet coils can induce fairly high circulating currents in a levitating conductor, well over a thousand amps under the right conditions. A bare aluminum disc quickly becomes too hot to handle at these current densities, so I thought that I might use a five quart saute pan for this demo. It's made from aluminum with a Teflon coating, and it has two handles for moving it around while hot. I've wired the levitation table straight into the 240 volt panel. And everything seems to be ready here. So, let's close the main breaker. Oh, and make sure there's no stray tools lying around first. As the drive current increases, the pan rises higher, as you can see, roughly in proportion to the current. And if I place the pan off-center, you can see that the guidance fields will realign the pan before it lifts up. At full lift, the pan starts heating up considerably, since the induced currents circulating in the pan are over a thousand amps at this point. But how hot will it get? Let's give it a minute. Okay, how hot is the pan now? It's definitely getting up there. Maybe hot enough to cook breakfast? Let's give it a try. Bon appetit! And if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe and check out our research at LOD.org.